but let's get to some fan questions, shall we? Get into the Discord, join the chat, join the chorus. It's a lot of fun in there. There's a lot of really interesting questions. You can be part of the show, man. We'll, we solicit these questions all the time, so it's great. Who is your wide receiver most likely to make the leap from a mid-low tier to wide receiver one? Look at the release. There's your separation. Great route. Stutter and go. Gets by clean. That is unbelievable. May be the greatest catch I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, I think Deontay Johnson is going to be an obvious answer there. Uh, yeah. We just talked about him going off the board as like wide receiver 22, wide receiver 24 in some spots. I think he could be, you know, we're talking about a wide receiver one because I know Alex C. I added this to the show notes too. He asked about a guy that could be the wide receiver one overall. I think that's a simple ah. question, but like mm -hmm. just a straight yep. up number one wide receiver from like a mid to late tier wide receiver two guy. You know, uh, Deontay Johnson, I think, is the obvious answer. I think Brandon Ayuk could be there as well, uh, going off the board, wide receiver 27. Um, what about uh, what about Odell Beckham bouncing back to that territory? No? Yeah. I mean, no, it's not going to happen. I, I okay, mean, listen, well, for, a, <laughs> I, th th whatever, what, for whatever reason, he and Baker do not have chemistry. Um, but do you think, but do you think that could just be like coincidence in like in a way? I, I think that, I don't know. I, I think that, that like if, cause when Baker, I know that it's like correlation causation type of thing, right? Like mm -hmm. once Beckham went out of the lineup, Baker started to put up better numbers, sort of, right. it took a couple weeks. It's like, well, was mm -hmm. maybe Baker was just comfortable in the offense by that point. Cause I actually think that like. Beckham last year, number one, I, I put this in the sneak preview tab in the dis, in the Discord server. Uh, Beckham, much better in reception perception in his limited looks last year. I wish we did not have yet another injury question um, this year, <laughs> but but we do. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Even though Jarvis Landry says he's looking better than ever uh, coming off of this injury in, in minicamp. It's been so long at this point. It's probably – I don't know that like we're, we're going to see yeah. him bounce back to wide receiver one status in fantasy, but I do think he can really be helpful to the Browns. And we could talk about Beckham more at a later date, like really get into yeah. this whole like him and Baker thing. But – for most of these guys, like other than, you know, Ayuk taking like a huge jump as a player, which I do believe is is fully possible. Like if Trey mm -hmm. Lance gets in there and he's unleashed, I think he's a good option there. You know, you're looking at guys like potentially that could make that jump. Like, well, it would maybe be an injury type of situation. Like if something happened yeah. to DK Metcalf, like Tyler Lockett would be a screaming value at wide receiver 22. For sure. I think about maybe Cortland Sutton as wide receiver 29. I was um, just about to say Cortland Sutton because man, um, and we don't know what the hell he's going to look like post injury. We have gotten yeah. no clue, uh, but we know he's a big body, deep downfield ball winner, right? So um, will the quarterback play keep him back? Will, you know, they, yes. will they, <laughs> yes, they will. <laughs> uh, Drew Locke, by the way, I think had the worst passer rating on, uh, or the second worst passer rating on, on deep passes. He's got like the second worst passer rating on like every metric, possible. everything. Yeah. 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 Everything. When you stink, you stink, you stink at every level. I think if we're talking just outside the top 10, who could be, you know, the guy I'm a uh, Terry McLaurin is going top 12 yes. right now. Um, and I think he could make the jump. Um, it's really interesting. Like, I know we all love AJ Brown, but Julio Jones is still a bad boy. Um, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. you know, and, and again, if we're talking about guys that, you know, maybe, maybe there's a little bit of an injury with AJ Brown for like, let's say he misses like four or five games. Like Julio Jones could easily, uh, end up still being the, the one dot one wide receiver. Cause he's, again, he's a bad man. He's a, he's a bad boy. So, uh, yeah, no, he's somebody that I could, I think could still be in that mix. I think your answer about McLaurin though is the right answer. Cause remember, yeah. I think what we talked about, um, last week with like AJ Brown being the, or Cal and Calvin Ridley, like being the wide receiver one overall is like, mm -hmm. it takes a unique confluence of events is, is the way that I've looked at it. Like that was how I got to the Devonte Adams pick for uh, 2020 as being that guy is like you need a you need three things basically which is you need um to dominate the target share you yeah. need to play with an efficient quarterback yeah uh, in a good offense and you need to be really 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 good at the game we know yeah. guys like Terry McLaurin <laughs> and Allen Robinson that same yeah. sort of and I think both these guys fit in this criteria, we know that they're really, really good at the game. We know they're probably going to dominate the target. I know Curtis Samuel's there and I like Curtis Samuel, Logan mm -hmm. Thomas, like all these guys, like, but, um, 
they like I still think McLaurin's the guy. Like we we can do a whole twenty minute fawn session over McLaurin at some point. But like <laughs> um, him and Robinson right. should dominate those target shares, and it's just about the quarterback play basically for those guys. But if Fitz has like a career year or Fields does yeah. get in there, like those guys have a chance to do it. Um, I, the only thing holding me back with Terry McLaurin, the only thing is that their defense is damn good. Um, and, uh, and I do think that, um, yeah. if they get ahead in a lot of ball games and by the way, the division still stinks. Um, so if they get ahead in a lot of ball games, how much are they going to throw? You know, um, mm. Uh, that's the that's the only big question mark for me is that they have a good defense playing in a bad division. They're going to have a lot of leads, uh, and I wonder if they just sit on it for for a number of games. But we shall see.